Kajuraho is a relatively small, quiet and relaxing town in comparison to most places we've been so far in India. The only real attraction for tourists are these fascinating temples. Most temples like these would have been destroyed during the various conquests, but these have been well hidden out of the way in the jungle. The British only found out about them towards the end of the 19th century, and today they are a UNESCO World Heritage Site and said to be one of India's seven wonders. We've only been in Kajuraho about an hour, and already it's a hell of a lot nicer than Varanasi. The streets are clean, the air is clean, it's nice and sunny. Too much there's, traffic? Uh, yeah, there's hardly any traffic, it's not honking all day long. <laughs> oh, look, uh, but the shopkeepers are quite annoying. Every single shop you go past, they're trying to get you to come in. And there's a lot of, a lot of people on the streets as well trying to sell you stuff. But apart from that, <laughs> It's a hundred times better. There's a temple right here. Here we go again. No thanks. Fine, fine, fine. I want to see your shop. Just found the restaurant that has a little tree house. We're going to go and sit in there. <laughs> Ah, it's a good view of the temple. Yeah. There's a sitting charge for sitting in the tree. So we're going to sit somewhere. <laughs> they are constructed from sandstone with intricate designs painstakingly sculptured across most of the outside surface. No mortar was used to hold the stone together. Amazingly, it's all held together by clever design and gravity. The carvings on these temples depict many different aspects of everyday life. Farming, musicians, men fighting in battles, feasting, riding elephants, curvy ladies putting on makeup and washing their hair, and a man fucking a horse. These erotic images are what most people come to see. Not just the bestiality, there's other stuff too. There's something for the whole family. From a little boob squeeze to fully flowing orgies. They're obviously not shy and quite open about their sexual activities. Some of the positions can be quite acrobatic. Here we have a man standing on his head while his partner is assisted by two other girls. Not something to start out with, I expect. The carvings aren't limited to the outside of the temples. Inside you will find more, and often a deity of some kind at the centre facing the doorway to catch the light. Ongoing restoration work is still in progress to improve the condition of the temples. It's not unusual for Indian people to want to have their photo taken with a westerner. I wouldn't. <laughs> We've come to visit some of the other temples that uh, are scattered around in the countryside. These are, uh, have been less redeveloped, but I probably like it more that way, actually. Yeah, but oh, he's back again. We got one hundred. One hundred. One hundred. Excuse me. I don't want it. That's a good price here. I don't want it. One hundred. No. <laughs> and it's not doing too well. You made it. Yeah. I couldn't put my camera away, and then these kids were like all over the bike asking for money, and their hands in the. So I can do yeah. Oh dear. Good? Yeah? Are you good? Yeah, I'm 
Good, we're all good. Good. Scams are everywhere and can often seem very innocent and genuine. I'm a school teacher. Ah, good. I am teaching this village the school, the bullying care school. What what subjects do you teach? I'm teaching English and mathematics and dancing and music. Do oh. you have a lesson? Yeah. We have to later on time meet my students. They're very happy. Ah, uh, we're, we're, got, we're doing some exploring. Why would you ask a complete stranger oh, yeah. to visit a school? We'll Why? To get money out of you, of course. And sure enough, we spoke to someone who had been to this very school and their main objective was to secure a charitable donation. There's a row or something over there. Where are you, little ratty? I can see you. Scuttling around the edges. Oh, and yeah, and yeah, I've got your shoes on. No. Um, I've only seen one. So it might not be rats, it might just be rat. Oh dear. Whoa! What? There's one running on this wall at head level. There's a bat as well. <laughs> Fucking hell. Bats, rats. Cats. Full of life in this temple. Mm -hmm. Might be a lion around the corner. <laughs> okay, so we're sitting at probably the worst restaurant that we've been to so far. Um, outside there's banners and so many things saying Tripa Advisor with glorious reviews but you can see we have empty plates. What happened Kevin? Well we ordered a curry, some rice and a garlic naan. After about 20 minutes waiting for our curry I asked him where it was, and he said, Oh, it's not possible. So, I'm gonna finish my beer, I'm gonna go somewhere else. Yep, try and actually get some food, three o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> Could have just told me that it wasn't available when I ordered it. That would have been the sensible thing to do, I think. Yep. But, that's India for you. Get what you expect. The cow's thinking about whether he wants to come in for a meal, but he's not quite sure. Oh. So he's going to have a look at the menu first. Look at his chops. It's all beer in here. <laughs> I hope you don't do beef burgers. Monkeys can be found in dense pockets and are usually up to mischief. Oh, he's got a tomato. <laughs> Whosever garden this is, they're not going to be happy. I think it's going to be oh, protected. Look, it's holding it like a human leg. Monkeys aren't the only animals that can get into This one is not going to make it. What are you doing? Yeah, that was scary, hey. wasn't it? You're not going to pee on my leg, are you?
Naughty dog. What? No, every time some traffic comes, it runs into the road. <laughs> Very good. He'll be safe now. Hello. How are you? Good. Good me. I'm fine, Willow. Yeah? The puppy will be safe now, won't he? To finish off our time in Kajuraho, our hotel manager invited us to his first wedding anniversary. Hidden beneath all the scams and harassment, there are some genuinely wonderful people here. 